In the foreseeable future, the world of motorbike manufacturing will be entirely dominated by the Chinese, Indian and Thai companies. However, at least for now, Japan remains the heartland for this economical transport, while the Japanese brands are the major trendsetters in the technology and design. In this episode, we'll cover the newest scooters and maxi models from the land of the rising sun. In 2022, they will be taking on the duties of transporting billions around the globe. We are ready to kick off the episodes, but before we do, make sure to subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. Enjoy the ride! Yamaha T-Max and T-Max Tech Max Mechanically updated for 2020, this Yamaha Maxi scooter now arrives with a host of styling revisions and technical enhancements. The ergonomics is tweaked for comfier riding, while the bodywork is redesigned to look sportier. There are bright dual LED headlights and T-shaped taillights. The seat and floorboards are longer, the model's waist is narrower for more legroom, and the new windscreen provides better protection. The new T-Max keeps the usual chassis setup with a 41mm telescopic fork and a linkage-type rear monoshock, but both of them get revised settings. The redesigned 10-spoke wheels feature spin-forging tech, they become lighter and get fitted with newly developed Bridgestone Batlax SC2 tires. The Euro 5 compliant 48 horsepower 560cc twin cylinder is unchanged, but its ride by wire throttle is slightly adjusted. Finally, the top spec tech model packs the smart key, 7 inch TFT screen, and full map navigation from Garmin. Honda ATV 350 Inspired by the success of the Adventure Ready XATV, the brand's newcomer is an urban maxi scooter ready for the weekend trips beyond the paved roads. The model sits on a rugged chassis with a non adjustable 37mm USD fork. It gets dual remote reservoir shocks with spring preload adjustability and 5.7 inches of ground clearance. The mismatched wheels come wrapped in off road ready rubber and measure 15 inches front and 14 the rear. The scooter is powered by the 330cc single cylinder with enhanced Smart Power Plus. The engine delivers 29 horses and 23 pound feet. While well, paired with a 5 liter fuel tank, it should offer over 200 miles of riding. The ATV 350 also gets Honda's selectable torque control with two modes LED head and tail lights, an LCD dashboard with voice control, and a smart key. Finally, the underseat compartment has enough space to store two full face helmets, and in the glove box, there is a USB C port. Suzuki Bergman 400 For many riders, the elegant athlete is the undisputed leader in the 400cc GT category. In 2022, its sporty styling is further enhanced with the full LED lighting, a new metallic matte sword silver paint scheme that combines with the blue wheels and stitching on the seat. The 400 single cylinder engine has a revised camshaft profile and a new dual spark technology ignition system. This leads to greater fuel economy, compliance with the emission regulations, and comfortable cruise speeds of 75 mph. The scooter's instrument panel combines analog speedometer and tachometer with a multi purpose digital LCD screen. In addition, there is an echo drive indicator, which lights on when the two wheeler is ridden in a fuel efficient manner. Suzuki ABS's standards and the range of newly added systems also includes easy start and traction control. Yamaha Zuma 125 Together with a rugged appearance, the redesigned Zuma brings plenty of adventure ready features packed neatly into one of the most affordable scooters from the Japanese brand. The big shaped front fender becomes larger and more angular, while the front end now looks boxier, overall getting a reworked asymmetric headlight profile. The newly designed lightweight wheels remain the same size as the outgoing model, but are now wrapped into a more off road ready tread pattern. The source of propulsion is the familiar air-cooled 125cc single cylinder, but it is tweaked for stronger torque at low RPMs and more power at high speeds. ABS with linked brakes, LCD display and a USB-A socket in the storage compartment are included as standard. Honda Benley E Introduced as a concept vehicle in 2019, 
the all-electric Bentley E is now expanding beyond the Japanese market. The model offers four variants – first, first Pro, second and second Pro. All feature Honda's removable battery tech with two packs located under the seat and standard mobile chargers. The two base Bentleys are motivated by a 4-horsepower electric motor that peaks at 9.6 pound-feet and produces 15 mph speeds. These models are range-oriented and are able to travel for 54 miles on a single charge. If you're looking for a faster, more agile commuter, then the top two Bentley E's are worth considering. These get 6 horses, 11 pound-feet and 31 miles per hour speeds, but unfortunately they can only travel for 26 miles. Finally, the Scoots ride on 12-inch wheels, get LED lighting and can be equipped with a basket and a cargo rack for carrying loads. Suzuki Avanis This new Suzuki scooter was developed specifically for the Indian market to rival the likes of TVS and Torque and Honda Dio. With the sporty exterior styling and affordable pricing, the model targets the younger generation of riders. While its 125cc single delivers just 8.7 horses and 74 pound feet, so it is rather beginner friendly. The bike gets a CVT transmission and the fuel tank measures 5.2 liters in volume. The two wheeler offers five exterior colors, gets a special race edition with Suzuki competition graphics, and comes equipped with standard LED head and tail lights. However, the main advantage of this model is its rich technological package. The latter includes a USB port. Bluetooth and an all-digital screen with a turn-by-turn navigation and Ride Connect app that can display your phone alerts, incoming calls and messages. You know the Japanese scooters are the best, so stop hovering over the like button and smash it already. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Honda X ATV Positioned between a scooter and an adventure motorcycle, the XADV is the company's European bestseller that in 2022 received a comprehensive upgrade both in the exterior design and under the bodywork. The makeover introduces a 6-pound slider frame and the Scoots Euro 5 compliant liquid-cooled parallel twin gets a 4-horsepower bump to 59 HP. There is also new throttle-by-wire with 4 riding modes, while the selectable torque control has 3 levels. As for the 6-speed DCT, it offers revised gear ratios that improve acceleration through the first three gears and fuel efficiency for the upper three. The model boasts more aggressive body panels, full LED lighting with DRLs and more comfortable seat design. 22 liters of underseat storage allow to fit a full-face helmet. A new 5-inch DFT screen works in tune with the Honda smartphone voice control. Plus, from 2022, there are three fresh exterior colors. Yamaha Tri-City 300 With its 16,000 price tag and a powerful 849cc inline three-cylinder engine, the Nikon remains quite a forbidding machine. However, one might still enjoy the superior capabilities of Yamaha's three-wheelers in the form of the Tri-City 300. Team Blue equips with this ride with the 292cc Blue Core single cylinder. It's a liquid-cooled four-stroke that produces 27 horsepower and 21 pound-feet of torque. Paired with a 3.4-gallon fuel tank, it makes the new flagship ideal for the long-distance highway cruising. The leaning multi-wheel Ackerman suspension and steering system features a parallelogram link and cantilevered front suspension with dual fork tubes. This results in unprecedented levels of on-road stability and grip. Among the high-end components, we should highlight the auto-style instrumentation, best-in-class 267mm front and rear disc brakes, ABS, automatic standing assist system and ample storage space. Finally, customization options include numerous accessories and five color options with the new petrol blue and sand gray schemes. Honda SH-125i and SH-150i These scooter siblings belong to Honda's million-selling SH range that originally went on sale in 1984. The 125cc model is one of the best-selling scoots in Europe, while the larger 150cc occupies the leading position on its primary Italian market, where smaller displacement machines are prohibited from motorways. The duo has recently entered to the new generation and essentially has been redesigned from the ground up. 
The models sit on lighter frames, have revised bodywork and updated rear geometry that ensure more comfortable rides and 50% more storage capacity, totaling in 28 liters. The revised Tier 5 compliant ESP engines feature more power and torque. The 125cc mil is rated at 13 HP and 9 pound feet, while the 150cc unit bumps the output to 17 horses and 11 pound feet. The models get equipped with LED lighting front and rear, Honda Smart Key, and new LCD dashboards with a USB socket. The freshest 2022 color options include Matte Peril Cool White and Matte Rock Gray. Yamaha NMAX 125 Yamaha's solution to covering individual urban commuting needs arrives underpinned by a thoroughly reworked chassis. The latter boosts the NMAX's maneuverability at higher speeds and allows to improve the rider's comfort by adjusting the feet position and optimizing wind protection. The engine of the Scoot becomes fully Euro 5 compliant, but it does not lose any torque and power. Besides, the powertrain comes equipped with the traction control and stop and start systems as standard. Riding on 13-inch wheels front and rear, the model boasts sleeker bodywork, a more aerodynamic fairing, and a less angular front end that has new twin LED headlights and DRLs. The NMAX also offers a larger LCD instrument display and new standard tech, such as keyless ignition and basic Bluetooth connectivity. Honda Forza 125 and 350 the Forza line is one of the best-selling scooters for a reason. The model has never been a stranger to innovation, it is represented across the most popular displacements and has a rather affordable price tag. Today we'll cover the 125 and 330cc models that recently won 3 facelift and are now offered with new color options. Both received restyled fairings, mirrors and panels, plus a new electric screen with an extra 40mm of travel for the total of 180mm of wind protection. These rides have a new USB charging port, smart key operation of ignition, storage for two full-face helmets under the seat and an optional 45-liter tub box. The Forzas feature Euro 5 compliant single-cylinder four-stroke four-valve engines that make 15 and 29 horsepower respectively. ABS is surely standard and so is the emergency stop function. Would you be buying a Japanese scooter or is it time to start trusting Indian and Chinese models? We'll be discussing today's lineup in the comment section below, so join the conversation and mention your favorite picks. Smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. We cover new bikes on a regular basis. May the torque be with you!